welcome back to Horror Recaps. My name is Freddy, and in a few moments, you're about to listen to a frightening tale narrated by me. Beware, fear awaits you. In the beautiful Spanish city of Granada, Carlos, a prosperous tailor, resides alone in a small apartment. At first look, he is a quiet, reserved, and reclusive person. However, unknown to those around him, he actually harbors a true, sinister, and evil secret. It turns out that Carlos has a troublesome and complex personality. He often slaughters and devours attractive young women, but since the man is smart and meticulous in how he plans and executes his crimes, Carlos never gets caught by the authorities. As the movie begins, we see a young couple at a gas station, getting into their car and driving away in the pitch dark. However, what initially appears to be a normal drive takes a dreadful turn as an unidentified vehicle approaches their car directly from the front. The young man tries to swerve through, but the unknown car plows right into them, tragically pushing them off the road and killing them instantly. A short while later, a mysterious man exits the unidentified car and makes his way toward the crash. This is when we meet Carlos, who is seen dragging the woman's body and driving it to his cabin in the snow-capped mountains. Carlos then places the dead body on a table before carefully selecting dismemberment tools. The unfortunate dead woman's fate is made more tragic when we hear Carlos dismembering her with a single ribbon of blood trickles alongside her corpse. The following morning, Carlos returns to his apartment in Granada and opens a bag containing wrapped raw meat. After carefully placing the meat in his refrigerator alongside other meat previously stored there, he casually heads off to his tailor. A few hours later, Carlos returns to his apartment in the rain. However, just as he is about to shut the door, an attractive young lady named Alexandra calls out to him, so he holds the door open for her. After seeing the lady struggling to get the luggage up the stairs, Carlos offers her to help, but except for a few pleasantries, the two barely interact. After a while, he enters his apartment and goes to the kitchen to prepare dinner. Then, he takes some of the raw flesh from one of his victims that he had previously preserved in his refrigerator. Now, Carlos gracefully prepares the raw, human flesh, cooks it, and then devours it for dinner. A few days later, Carlos is seen reading quietly after arriving home from work. His gaze is then drawn to Alexandra, who is watching him from her upstairs window. In a matter of seconds, she takes off her clothes in an effort to seduce him. But as soon as she grabs Carlos's attention, she dashes away from the window and turns off the lights. The next day, Alexandra stops by Carlos's tailor and requests his help in promoting her massage parlor to his customers. She also extends an invitation for him to give it a try once, but he declines her offer. Nevertheless, he asks that she leave some of the flyers to see if he can get any customers for her. The following evening, Carlos overhears Alexandra arguing with someone in her apartment. Immediately after that, she knocks on his door to help in calling the police about the heated argument. Alexandra goes on to say that he should just report what he witnessed to the police. Contrarily, Carlos doesn't seem to like the idea and claims not to have seen or heard anything. Right then, Alexandra enters his apartment asking for a glass of water. However, when she stealthily pries open his refrigerator, she discovers that it is stocked with meat. Strangely, Carlos has a change of heart this time and drives her to the police station. Having now invaded his privacy and learned his secrets, Alexandra vanishes without a trace. 
After a few days, Carlos is woken up by his doorbell ringing in the morning. Nina, Alexandra's twin sister, arrives at his apartment to look for any clues to her sister's whereabouts. Sadly, she receives neither an answer nor assistance, so she simply leaves. But immediately after, Carlos calls to let her know that he can still help after having yet another change of heart. He informs Nina that he can get assistance from his friend who works at the police station. However, when Carlos calls, his friend does not answer, so he leaves a message. Later that evening, as Carlos prepares to close his tailor shop, he notices a mysterious man trying to get buzzed into their apartment building. He opens the door for the man, who then walks over to Alexandra's apartment and repeatedly knocks without getting a response. The following day, Nina visits Carlos's apartment again in an effort to learn more about her sister's whereabouts. When she inquires about his friend who works at the police station, Carlos responds that he is out of town and won't return for three weeks. Just then, he invites Nina to breakfast, which she accepts. As they're having breakfast together, Alexandra comes up in their conversation, and it's revealed that when Alexandra left their hometown, she took some money intended for their parents. Nina also adds that they had been saving money and were supposed to send their parents 3,000 euros so that they could buy an apartment. However, Alexandra claimed that it was her hard-earned money and took it with her when she left. Afterward, while having a chat, Carlos brings up the mysterious man who was standing in front of her apartment the other night. He then describes the man to Nina, and it is confirmed to be Alexandra's boyfriend, Bogdan. At this point, Carlos sows doubt in Nina's mind by claiming that Alexandra may have fled with her boyfriend so that she does not have to return the money to the family. Nina becomes lost in her thoughts for a brief moment before abruptly stating that she will go to the police to report her missing sister by herself. On the other hand, Carlos, who still maintains the good guy persona, offers to accompany her to the station for assistance. However, the police respond that they can't help her because Alexandra left voluntarily. As they leave the police station, Carlos offers Nina 3,000 euros to pay her parents back in exchange for nothing. The following evening, Nina visits Carlos's tailor to thank him by extending an invitation to dinner. However, for some strange reason, Carlos declines her offer and they go for a walk instead. As they stroll through the neighborhood, Carlos notices that he is growing more attracted to and attached to Nina. On the other hand, Nina is adamant that she wants to do more for him as a gesture of gratitude. She then walks him to her apartment, where she gives him a massage with candle oil wax. However, just as Carlos appears to be unwinding, he abruptly gets up puts on his clothes, and quietly leaves the apartment. The following day, Carlos drives to a beach and watches a young couple in silence. Afterward, the couple is seen making out with each other before going skinny dipping in the sea. They spend the entire evening swimming, when all of a sudden, they notice someone driving away in their car. As the young man runs uphill to stop the vehicle, their vehicle immediately accelerates in his direction and strikes him out cold. And in the dead of night, Carlos mysteriously walks down the hill and waits at the shore. The poor woman watches in horror as she tries to swim away to the deep waters that most likely hold death, rather than swimming back to the shore where the mysterious man awaits. A few days later, Nina goes to Carlos's tailor to inform him that the police have discovered a woman's dead body and are asking her to identify if it is Alexandra's. Carlos offers to accompany her to the police station and she accepts. But when she examines the body, Nina sees that it is not Alexandra's. However, that evening, Carlos finds Bogdan rushing down the stairs in panic 
when he arrives at his apartment building. And after a couple of hours, Carlos dashes over to Nina's apartment, where he finds her sobbing on the floor. Then, Nina tells him that Bogdan learned about the money, and says he killed her sister for money in an attempt to comfort her. Carlos carries her to bed as she cries to sleep, while he goes to sleep on the couch. The next morning, the police knock on Carlos's door, waking him up. He then brings Nina to his apartment as soon as she wakes up and tells her to stay there and not answer the door to anyone. While he's there, Carlos also takes down Alexandra's advertisement flyer, before leaving to avoid raising Nina's suspicions. Later, he finds Nina waiting for him to come home in the evening so they can eat dinner together. Carlos, however, declines to eat, claiming only to be exhausted. Nina then abruptly asks him if he likes Alexandra, after noticing that her flyer has been taken down. Carlos is utterly perplexed as to how Nina came to have such an idea, and he strongly dismisses her claims immediately. Carlos interrupts her before she can continue by suggesting that they go to his cabin in the mountains to get away from it all and temporarily forget their problems. Now, the two make their way to the mountains the following day, and Carlos leads Nina on a hike to take in the breathtaking views of the snow-covered mountains. As dusk falls, Carlos makes a drink for himself and Nina as they relax in front of the fireplace. At this point, it is revealed that Carlos has drugged Nina, and we discover her unconscious body on the couch shortly after. He strips her naked, places her at the table, and then, as with other victims, carefully chooses a tool to dismember her. Carlos approaches her unconscious body and tenderly caresses her cheeks, before aiming the knife at her chest, just like he did with other women in the past. But this time is a little different. Carlos discovers that he has grown attached to Nina and is helpless to harm her, and thus, he simply puts her to bed. The following evening, while the couple is sitting by the fireplace, Carlos blatantly admits to Nina that he murdered her sister, Alexandra, in cold blood. Nina smiles sadly when she hears this, hoping that Carlos is simply messing around with her. However, her smile quickly fades as she notices his blank expression, and she just continues to stare at him in disbelief and despair. Then, Nina whimpers quietly, claiming that he could never commit such brutality. But Carlos confesses with a painful smile that Alexandra isn't the first woman that he has done this to. When Nina questions him further about the murders, he admits to killing women and eating their flesh, but could not do that to her. Carlos then abruptly reminds Nina that they need to return to their town or else the police will start to suspect her. Nina, on the other hand, demands that he kill her right away. She claims that it will be easy to do so since they are in the middle of the mountains and there is nowhere she can escape. Moreover, Nina still does not believe him and demands the truth. So, Carlos confesses that he was attracted to Alexandra and killed her for that reason, just like other women. But for some reason, he was unable to do that to Nina. Finally, Nina agrees to go back to Granada, and the two drive away. While Carlos is driving, Nina abruptly sways the steering wheel, swerving them off the road and crashing the car in hopes of killing them both. But unfortunately, Carlos survives the car accident, whereas Nina suffers severe injuries and dies as a result. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.